Well, this is the earliest I've ever been in this building. And it is six minutes past eight. That's not that early. It's quite late for some. Um, I'm in to do some mapping for the big bike ride, which is our massive campaign in May. Um, Jules is away swimming. Nat is, I don't know, and Tommy is probably in bed. Um, but I can't find the map, so it could be a bit of a problem. Well, I've given it a temptation. Um, it looks like I'm going to go upstairs for a cheap and nasty fry up. Just after buying some Cheerios and cornflakes. This is not a good sign if I'm going to do 180 miles in a relatively short amount of time for someone who doesn't cycle all the time. Bad time time. Oh well. Well, it is now um, 12.55 and the mopping has been completed. We've even um, found some places to stay as well. Um, so, it actually looks like this show might be going on the road. <laughs> Marvellous. However, um, a little bit peeved off at the moment because, um, as my job as comms officer, I do produce the the union's newspaper, the Terrace Star. There it is. Lovely new copy. Radio's one. Um, however, um, if you look at this first column, the spelling of the Vice Chancellor is incorrect. I should say Vice Chancellor Professor Graham Henderson. Yeah, as he said, Professor Graham Henderson, which isn't too good providing he is actually, you know, providing the money for his organization through the block grant. So feel a little bit like a dick right now. It is a bit of a schoolboy ever, but being the other and all I feel a bit pissed off but yeah, what can you do, like, what can you do? Put so many hours in the doing the newspaper, put so many much effort into it. You have 53 people working on it, like, and I feel as if I might have let them down. It's not good. Not good at all. Right, I'm going to make a call to the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice. Why? Um, because I think that's a charity I'm going to um, fundraise for for the bike ride. Sorry, <laughs> I was ringing them. <laughs> right, let's give this. Let's get this uh, rock and roll show on the road, gentlemen. Mount your bicycles and let's go. Right, O two eight nine o. Good old Belfast number seven eight one eight three six. Must be in their lunch. Yeah. Uh, my battery doesn't cut out. Huh? See, every time I talk, it makes like a wee squeaking noise. That's weird. Uh, hello Angela, um, uh, my name is Mark Gillespie and I'm calling from the University of Teesside Students Union in Middlesbrough in England. Um, you can probably tell I'm actually not from Middlesbrough, I used to live in Bangor and I've moved over there. <laughs> um, basically what I am, I'm the communications officer and basically I'm in a vice presidential role elected by students to lead the students union. And what we do is we run various campaigns to highlight issues to do with um, student welfare, academic issues, um, wellbeing and green travel. Um, and what we're doing is a campaign where the four um, trustees who run the Students' Union are going to cycle from Whitehaven to um, Teesside um, to raise awareness for certain issues. Um, now, we want to raise money as well for our own individual charities and because I'm from Northern Ireland, I wanted to choose a charity from back home um, and I've decided to choose the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice. And I just wanted to know how, you know, if it's how, I, how I can help really, just how, you know, Okay. 
No, 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 no but it, it's still very early stages. We're not going to do this until the 1st of May. Um, yeah, it's um, T side. It's T double E double S I D E. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Um, I'll give you both. My telephone number is O seven nine seven seven five O eight O two five. Yeah, and my e my email address is M dot Gillespie. Yep, at T's at T W -E and one S dot A C dot U K. Yeah. Yeah, it's well. Basically, well, really, it's, it'll be from Whitehaven on um, in the hour. Just yeah. So it's basically it's called the route we're going to do is run by Sustrans. Um, they're like a cycle organisation who like like champion sustainable transport, hence the name Sustrans. Um, they have set up a cycle route. At, um, it's called the Coast to Coast or Sea to Sea for short. Well, it's the end of today. This has been my video blog. Jules has had a bit of a cameo performance. It started off well today, it's been a bit tough in the end to be honest, like, because for example, I'll just show you this. Month. And spelling the man who runs basically the university and provides us the vlog grant to um, run this organisation and which effectively pays my salary at the end of the month. I spelled his name wrong. So, a bit of a tough one to take, hard to swallow. But, that's where it goes sometimes. What can you do? Hello.